Lori. What you doing? Oh, well, I'm trying to make a decision. Huh, you're trying to make a decision? Mm -hmm. So I'm hungry okay. and I need, a, I need a snack. It's kind of that time of day. And... You got some nice things here. Yeah, at first I thought, okay, well, I'll have an orange. And I thought, well, I don't know that I really want an orange. So I went to the pantry and I, I found this box of, of Oreos in the pantry. It sounds like orange or Oreos. I thought, no, well, what about a... What about this moon pie? I know. I love moon pie. moon pie, right? A banana and a, a pineapple. But see, here's the thing. Like right now, it'd be really easy for me to just grab an Oreo and eat it. You know, I have to peel this. I have to peel this. I have to, I have to do a whole lot of things to this. You have to peel this. Yeah, but you know, I can peel that so quickly. <laughs> you know, I can oh, just, you know, you just it. open it up. You know, for example, you just open it and decisions, then it's right decisions. there. So, oh, there okay. You go. Welcome go. everyone to Celebrate Wonder. I'm Pastor Meredith, our lead pastor at Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church. This, of course, is Miss Laurie, our Hi. Um, director of Children and Youth Ministries, and we're so glad that you have joined us as Miss Laurie has been working with decisions. Yes. I'm and gonna... here's the thing. I went for a walk this morning. Okay. So maybe justifies the moon pie? I think it works with a moon pie. Mm -hmm. Well, we're glad that you're here for Celebrate Wonder, and we're going to talk about making decisions. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have mm -hmm. some of this banana, I think. That wasn't very hard to open. I think it took me less time than it took you. In any case, no, 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 we're no, glad no, you're here. We hope that you're enjoying Celebrate Wonder. If you need a Celebrate Wonder activity kit, please let us know in the church office. Um, and you can put that in the comment section or just give us a call. I also want to let you guys know that coming up in on November 22nd, Sunday, and, November 22nd. And 21st. And the 21st, mm -hmm. you'll be uh, able to pick up your uh, next Celebrate Wonder Kit and some Advent materials. So we'll talk more about that, just uh, let you know that for your calendar. But, um, you know, I think we should probably get on with it and maybe head over to our Wonder Kit. I think, think so. Yeah. How's the banana? Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs> All right. Welcome, everybody, to week 10 of Celebrate Wonder. And we are here, I'm Miss Lori, this is Laud the Lamb, Pastor Meredith, and this is week 10 of Celebrate Wonder. Can you believe it? This is crazy. 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. All right, we're going to get started. First, we're going to light our candle. So we're going to light the candle, not the lamb. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. You guys have been very successful with this. So Everyone, far, yes. We're very proud. Yes. Yay! Yay! So, today, I think we're talking some about some decisions, we're right? We're talking about decisions. And they're hard sometimes. It can yeah. be hard to make it decisions mm -hmm. or to make choices that we think are going to be good for us, right? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It can be mm -hmm. tough. Yeah. Well, do you ever have to make decisions, Laud? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You do? Yeah. He, um, you know, he has to decide what he's going to eat at night. Oh. Um, where he's going to sleep and stay, you know. He, Whether or not he's going to clean his ears, right? Oh, is that never? <laughs> we never like to chooses, clean his ears. He chooses Please. never to clean his ears. Shh, we don't talk about those things. Oh, okay, yeah, sorry. Sorry about that. Mm. Mm. Well, what kind of decisions do you have to make, Laurie? Oh, I have to make all kinds of decisions, especially right now in the world that we're living in right now. Um, a lot of times about, well, one decision I have to make every day is what is everybody going to eat? Oh, yeah. You know? What's everybody going to eat at night? Um, yeah. What you're going to do during the day. And mm -hmm. if it's nice enough to go for a walk, which we all went for a walk this morning, that was nice. Mm -hmm. But all those decisions. That's a lot of decisions. We have the same kinds of things going on at my house. Mm -hmm. Making lots of decisions. My children have to make decisions about school and how to do their work and how to be with their classmates online, with online school and their teachers. We make decisions as a family about where to go, how to keep other people safe and, and to be healthy. Um, you know, so sometimes we decide not to go out and do something that we might normally have done because we're trying to keep people healthy and safe. Yeah. And sometimes those are hard decisions, mm -hmm. but we still make them. We yeah. do them together. Yeah. 
Well, I so wonder what it means to do the right thing. That's a part of our questions. Oh, today. and that's always that's really mm. hard sometimes because sometimes the right thing isn't necessarily what you want to do. Mm. Oh, for mm -hmm. sure. We hear a lot about this in our Bible story today, and we hope that you will pick up and as a family read that Bible story together. It's in Genesis chapter 25, verses 29 through 34. But in the story, we hear more about Jacob and Esau. We met them last week, the sons of Isaac and their twin brothers. We remember that. Mm -hmm. And we talked about how um, even though they were twins, they were very different and how each one of us is different and yeah. unique, which is awesome. This week in the story, we hear about how Esau, who is the oldest, the older brother of the twins, so they were just born a little bit apart, how he has been out working all day and he's so hungry and he comes home and his brother has made his favorite kind of stew to eat. And Esau's so hungry, he says, brother, give me some of that stew. And his brother says, well, sure, I'll give you some of this stew. But first, I want you to give me your birthright. And a birthright is a special thing that uh, back in our Bible times that an oldest child would have where they have a special uh, way that they're going to lead because they're the oldest child and receive a special blessing from their parents. And so it was a very important thing for the mm -hmm. oldest child. And Jacob, the youngest brother, says, well, I'll give you the stew if you'll give me your birthright. And Esau goes, of course, I'll give you my birthright. I'm hungry. Give me that stew. Esau makes this very rash decision. He doesn't even think about it. He just wants the stew, he eats the stew, and he gives away this special blessing that he has. Now we know that everybody deserves to be blessed and that Jacob mm -hmm. is blessed, that Esau is blessed in the story. Each one of us is blessed. But you know, I kind of wish that Esau had taken a minute to stop and think yeah. for a second about what he was doing. Because that was a really big thing. It was a big decision to make and to just decide to have a bowl of stew and trade mm -hmm. off. Oh, crazy. Well, shall we read our, uh, or do our wonder cube and see what we get? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're going to roll our wonder cube. You have wonder cubes at mm -hmm. home. Remember to roll them when you go through the story. Here we go. Ask the questions. Oh, what did the Bible teach me? Mm. You know, I think it, it, it kind of taught me that you need to really think sometimes before you make a decision. Maybe think and pray about it before mm -hmm. you make an important decision. Nice. Yeah. I wonder what would have happened for Esau if he had stopped for a moment and maybe prayed to God about what he should do. Yeah. Be interesting. Oh, that was the same one. Let's see if I can get a different color. Okay. I got, I wonder, where did you see God in the Bible story? Well, I saw God in the Bible story because God gives us freedom to make choices mm -hmm. and make decisions, even if sometimes we make ones that are not really great for us. Yeah. And I also know in the Bible story that God loves us, even when maybe we don't make decisions that are the best for us, that God still loves us. There may be consequences to those decisions that are not great, but God still loves us and is still right there with us. Yeah, we talked about that a little bit in small talk mm, last Sunday. Yes, you mm -hmm. did. Yeah, his car went right off the track and it was bad and yeah, yeah. bad choice. There you go. Mm -hmm. But God still loves you. Very good. Yeah. Well, should we have our prayer together before we head into our Bible story time? Oh, I think so. Okay. I well, think we should. Would you pray after me? When everybody take a deep breath, you can put your hands out and let's pray. Dear God, dear God, guide me when I have to make hard choices. Guide me. Guide when me when I have to make, make hard, hard choices. choices. Amen. Amen. All right. Let's pay real close attention. Our Bible story video is next. Greetings, friends. I'm Gabby. Do you remember the twin brothers, Esau and Jacob? Well, Esau was going to get a promise from his dad, Isaac, for being the oldest son. In the time of the Bible, this was called a birthright. The promise that Esau received from his dad, Isaac, was that he would lead the family and take his dad's job when he got older. One day, Esau returned from hunting and was really hungry. His brother Jacob had made some soup, and he really wanted some. So, he made a quick decision to trade his entire promise from his dad for a bowl of soup. He traded something so big for something so small. But, what if Esau stopped and prayed? Instead of stopping to pray, Esau made a quick decision so he could get something he wanted right away. It's important to remember that God is always available to talk to us 
and help guide us to the best decisions. I really think that God would have reminded Esau of the amazing promise that he was giving up. Esau would have realized that the bowl of soup was not equal to his birthright. Last year, my parents gave me a bicycle that I've been wanting for so long. Having a bike meant I could go to my friends' houses and we could all bike to school together. One day at school, a boy in my class had the best new video game. He said I could come to his house and play if he could have my bike. In the moment, I wanted to play so bad that I traded my bike to play the game. When it was time to go home, I realized I didn't have a bike to ride home on. Friends, decisions are hard to make sometimes, and we don't always make the best choices. But when we pray and talk to God, God helps to guide us to the best decisions. Listen to what God is saying to you. I think we'll all make better decisions if we do it that way. Now, it's your turn to wonder. Hi everybody, we have a special guest with us today. At Celebrate Wonder, it is Cohen and Vaughn. So, we don't have a craft today. We have more of kind of a question game. So we're getting ready to play, what would you do? All right, Cohen, the first question is for you. You're gonna have to pretend that you're going to school, okay? All right. Somebody is sitting alone at lunch. You're sitting with your friends. What do you do? Um, I go tell them that they can um, come over and sit by me. Oh, that's and great. Me. Yeah, invite them to come sit nice. with you guys. Or go sit with them. Nice. Okay? Very good. Okay, Pastor Meredith. My turn. You are talking with your friends at church when we go to church. But someone asked you to help hand out the bulletins. Mm. What choice do you make? Well, I know that I want to keep talking to my friends, but I hope that I would choose to be helpful at that moment and help hand out bulletins. Good answer. Good answer. Um, Cohen, your parents ask you to clean your room, but you like playing instead. What do you do? It's kind of iffy, iffy. <laughs> <laughs> that's honest. Yeah, that's honest. Mm -hmm. Iffy, iffy. Yeah. That's a hard choice to make. Probably depends on maybe how dirty it is and those kinds of things. Yeah, some of these choices are really hard. That's understandable. Um, Pastor Meredith, somebody is mean to your friend right in front of you. Oh, no. And they begin to cry. What do you do? Oh my goodness. Well, I hopefully I would comfort my friend, get them a tissue maybe, and then I hope that maybe I'd say something to the other person and mm -hmm. say, please don't be mean to other people and stay with my friends so that they feel yeah. better. I think yeah. so. I think that's a re really good answer. These are great questions, Miss Laurie. Last question, oh. Cohen. You are playing on your phone. So far, this is very believable. A friend knocks at the door and wants you to go play football. What do you do? Play football? It's more fun than playing on my mm -hmm. phone. Uh, yes. But what if your friend wanted you to just go for a walk? Yeah, I would. Okay, yeah. good. Very good. If friends come to get you, to see if you want to do something, that means they really are needing a friend right now. Something to do. Very good. So there are even more questions on here, and you can play this with your family. But I would really like to thank our two participants in What Would You Do? Yeah, exactly. And don't forget, think about your choices and ask God for help, because he'll usually lead you in the right direction. Actually, He'll always lead you in the right direction. We just have to listen. All right, bye guys. Okay.
Hey adults, it's time for your spiritual practice for the week. And this week it's a prayer. And it's a really simple one to remember and a really great one. So pay close attention with me here, all of the adults. It's using the word stop, S-T-O-P, to help you this week with prayer. Okay, so the S stands for stop. So stop. The T stands for think for a moment. The O stands for Offer your choice to God. And then the P means pray about it. So you can use that stop as a way to help you make decisions and choices this week as well, adults. So stop, think, offer your choice to God, and pray about it with God. I hope that you will use that really simple prayer a lot this week and into the future to help you make good decisions, adults. And kids, if you were listening in, it's a good one for you too. Thanks. Hi everybody, we're coming to the end of our week 10 session. Just a reminder, our faith word is still blessing. It's great to remember that blessings are all around us. If we just open our eyes and we look, even when times are tough. Our celebration chart, hopefully everybody's still keeping track. Our celebration chart, in a few weeks you're gonna get a new one that is more Christmas oriented. So we've got that coming up. But to end, we have a spiritual practice prayer, kind of like the adults had, okay? But this one, you're gonna need to move a little bit. So it goes something like this. You're going to stop. Okay, Lod likes that part, stop. Then you're going to pray about your decisions and your choices. And then remember, God is with you. So you're gonna give yourself a great big hug. And remember, it's every day, okay? So it's the stop, pray, God's with you every day. All right, have a great week, guys. Think about those choices. Don't forget, we have music right after this. The song is, I believe, Everywhere I Go. Thank you to that beautiful voice that came out of nowhere to help me remember, and because I had forgotten. But don't forget to stay tuned for that, and we'll see you next week for week 11, Laud. Bye, guys. Sometimes you don't move fast enough for me, and I start playing tricks to get what I. I've been